Glenn Robertson, ladies and gentlemen.
you ever somebody on stage talking about like penises and fart jokes and everything and go, wow, there's a guy with strong Christian values. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't happen. But, uh, I uh, often wonder, you know, what, what kind of superheroes Richmond would have <laughs> you know, if we were to develop our own. We like the uh, chocolate bar <laughs> He'll save your life as long as he's, there's not a DUI check between you and him. <laughs> or the West End Trophy wife. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't really do anything, but she's going to look at him. Or the mechanics build that NASCAR bed. <laughs> if you need somebody, hit your wife for you. <laughs> NASCAR fans in here. But uh, I watch a lot of movies. I'm kind of a movie, movie addict. Um, one thing though, there aren't enough midgets in movies. There's a, there's a punchline at the bottom of this game. Um, no, there isn't. I mean, you know, you always see midgets and they're always in these roles like the Lollipop Guild or some shit like that. You never see them as just normal guys. Like in the, in the credits it says Joe, and, you know, the midget. You know, like. It's something like every 2,000 people, there's a midget. And you never see these big, expansive period pieces where there's just a midget dude hanging out, like Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's like thousands, legions, armies just hanging out, right? No midgets. How fucked is that? Like, I want to see one midget with like blue face paint dragging a broadsword behind him trying to hide his team. Another thing not nearly enough of in movies, ninjas. Like, I think every movie should have an obligatory ninja fight scene just thrown in for good measure. Like, the other night I was, uh, I was staying up late and I was watching TV and uh, this movie came on with Hugh Grant, um, is it Notting Hill, right? No ninjas. And that movie sucked. Like, ninjas could only help the situation at that point. And there's this scene, right, where there's like Hugh Grant and he's standing in front of Julia Roberts and Julia Roberts is all like, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her, right? And then ninjas, right? <laughs> just like roll in, bust through the, the front window and start doing ninja flips and shit. And they kidnap Julie Roberts and he's like, no, but he can't do anything because Hugh Grant's kind of a pussy. <laughs> so yeah, like she gets taken back, told of a prophecy, and she gets ninja training for like five years. Five years later, she's dropping on an island to fight a rebel ninja army and gets to the leader, pulls off his mask, Hugh Grant. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> would have been such a better movie. But uh, on that uh, little, have you guys ever walked down the street and, and some weird thought popped into your head and you didn't know where it got, where it came from? Just kind of appeared? I had one of those the other day, and it was this. I'm glad I'm not black. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. Because I really like fried chicken, and I would hate to be self-conscious about it. <laughs> it suck. It's already bad enough as a white guy, because I love Iron Maiden and mayonnaise. So. <laughs> but, um, I, uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of weird thoughts a lot of the time. Uh, like, uh, double penetration is a lot like communism. What? They both work better on paper. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, I see all these I Heart New York t-shirts. Never seen any I Heart Kentucky t-shirts. I don't know why, I love a shirt that says I Heart KY. Just <laughs> <laughs> or uh, if David Banner knew he was the Incredible Hulk, I told you to love superheroes. Uh, if he knew he was Incredible Hulk, why, did he, why didn't he just wear like a spandex onesie or something? <laughs> Instead of like ripping his nice work shirts all the time. That shit has to cost a lot of money every month. But again, if he did wear like a, a unitard, would he be known as the incredibly gay Hulk? <laughs> I think I'd be. Or if, if you're a zombie and a vegetarian, do you still create brains or is it grains? <laughs> yeah, I debated about putting that one in there. Do deaf kids ever get annoyed while trying to read the lips of the Muppets? <laughs> <laughs> and you have some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs>